Hey, I'm Matt Tritton here at Phil Welch Stadium. We're just about one week and one day away from opening night here for the St. Joseph Mustangs taking on the Band Johnson Raiders, talking with General Manager Kai Turner. Kai, beautiful day in St. Joe, isn't it? Wonderful. You know, uh, sitting out here on the party deck, working on my tan. Good thing it's cloudy, but I'm sure I'll still get a sunburn. Uh, just one of the natural benefits of being my skin portion. Is that what today's show is about, my beauty? And you know what? A day like this, too, it's it a perfect day to wear some... Uh, mint ice cream colored shorts don't you agree yeah i think once so. you stand up and show the camera just give an example of the shorts you know i'm sure uh something to look forward to this summer this is what you want to wear to the ballpark this is uh it's good style where it's at so yep there it is okay well okay yeah better paying out there so if baseball doesn't work zoom the in on career is uh is also there but no like well who's said, to say modern modeling career hasn't already started but go ahead i mean make that <laughs> no, I've, I've, yeah i've seen you in the front that's office. fine uh have you yeah i have <laughs> okay opening night what are you most looking forward to this is you've been here all previous seven years this is year eight for the mustangs what what gets you hyped up for this first game eight years eight opening nights you know with uh alongside uh matt johnson and uh sorry bug bug there uh dan gerson Owner of the Mustangs, our press box team, Greg Kastner, uh, Dirk Allsbury, Tracy Verduzco, Dean Burmeister. So we got some uh, people who've been around here for, for a while, and, and uh, we've had some fun. So, uh, but yeah, you know, it should be hopefully our best yet. I think we've kind of fine tuned some things. We got some uh, fun surprises in store, some different things around the stadium. You, and uh, so surprise, and uh, you know, so I mean, we're we're really looking forward to. Uh, uh, all the uh, people from schools coming out. It's going to be a great night. We're letting in uh, uh, teachers, uh, custodians, uh, anyone who works for a school. Come on in that night. We're going to give you uh, uh, two free tickets with your ID. And it's also our reading program celebration night, so we expect to have a lot of uh, young children here who have read all school year, and we're going to kick it off that night with, with uh, a good baseball game, hopefully. So that's the plan. I believe most of those first seven opening days I was around for as a fan or covering it in the media. This is my first time actually getting this angle of working with you, getting ready for it. And there's a lot more work that goes in than I I'll think I'll stop you right realize. there. Usually we'd find you at the concession stand. So when you say a fan, I don't know if you're really watching the game or waiting in line for a hot dog, which, you know, we've, we've cut down lines drastically this year, so hopefully you can get to the game. You personally, because well, you've got I'm a lot still, of hot dogs. I'm you get in, in line and out of line. I'm still trying to help the, the Mustang. Carry on money. with your current thought. But – uh, tell me what's the biggest hurdle as far as just getting going from off season to starting the season and, and actually getting things rolling here at Phil Welch Stadium? Well, uh, probably the biggest hurdle is uh, it's you know, you jump right in, there's no sticking your foot in the pool. I mean, you're jumping right in the deep end. So, we have a staff of, of uh, anywhere between 30 and 50 new faces just on my end. Uh, that we'll see in the front office that helps with promotions and some of the experience of people when they come out here have a little bit of fun and uh, do those between in games or you know live streaming some of our games it's their first chance so uh, we have jimmy bly helping us jimmy with bly but there's no training Quick wheels TV. no training wheels for for these people's first game and so we make sure our first game is just as well run as our last one so uh but that one's always keeps me up at night the, you know the day before but other than that uh plus it's also someone else's first game here might keep me up stressed out but other than that we'll be fine we'll be fine and you can see behind us the field is, is starting to take shape it's looking back in a game form squirt wells done a great job taking over and getting the field ready yeah i mean it's really it's back into a uh, diamond before it was kind of in a square so it's all game about shape is all important. about the way you look at it kind of like uh squirts squirts got like a diamond shaped head wouldn't you say i mean he was made for this position <laughs> he's a good kid yeah so i don't see where he's at right it's kind of like where's waldo but we even doing a little painting over here. So, I mean, it's – Phil Welsh is going to look like a, an old Butte June 1st. That it will. June 1st, obviously, that's a big night. Uh, Band Johnson Raiders here taking on the St. Joe Mustangs. First pitch coming at 7 o'clock. Uh, Much better than the Oakland Raiders, if I would say. Uh, but we got a lot more going on other than we that. Do, what we you do. say? Uh, we I do, think, yeah. I think the Raiders did you just are say I do? Did Super you ask? <laughs> no, I don't. This next season. But, uh, but no, you mentioned that. Gates open at 5.30, so be sure to come early, get your seats, get in the hot dog line before I hit that. But also, one week from tonight, the day before opening day, Fan Fest at East Hills Mall, the second Fan Fest. This is something that you kind of uh, put the wheels in motion last year, and well, it was so great. Yeah. Now we're looking to build off that and uh, have another great uh, Fan Fest 
next Tuesday. Tip of the cap to you there on that one. Thank you for just you know setting it up on the tee. Uh, but it was a team effort. A lot of people have combined a lot of different ideas there uh, for that. And so, uh, yeah, it's going to be a lot of fun. I mean, we're going to have a press conference. We're going to answer a lot of questions. Uh, we'll get to the media, but we'll also talk to uh, you know some of our fans. If you've got a question, go ahead and ask us. Uh, could be my favorite color of shorts. Jim, can I... Check out the pistachio My color favorite shorts. color shorts. There pistachio. they are, right there. <laughs> pistachio, if you will. And uh, anyway, so those are some good questions to have. But also, uh, we're going to have the team there signing autographs. First time to meet them. First chance for them to really meet some of our fans here because they're from all over the country. We're going to have a bounce house. Uh, Jacqueline Dickens, who rides the horse. She's going to be outside uh, East Hill Shopping Center. Uh, so you can go get your picture with her and say hello. Uh, she's kind of a... Uh, uh, great asset for us out here and uh, we're gonna have games prizes uh, from 5 30 7 30 it's gonna be a lot of fun at East Hills Shopping Center hey might even do some shopping while you're there why not and beat yourself up a pair of shorts there you go so that's fan fest is May 31st 5 30 7 30 at the mall also starting this year, first time ever for the Mustangs. You're a real hand type of guy. I, I like that. I, I can yeah. get going. It's Exercising. Just, I can't help it. You I have a Fitbit on? Still on the on camera there. I don't have a Fitbit. You're more like a my Broadway a type Fitbit. of guy. Yeah? So Sometimes. you're married. I have a beautiful voice. Sorry, yeah. ladies. He's gone off the market. We're both married. Not, Not to, to each other. other. <laughs> well, hey. Yeah. There it is. Rings. <laughs> uh, but no, for the first time, a weekly radio show with the Mustangs. That'll be on ESPN 1550. Every Thursday from noon to one. Dave Riggert. Dave Riggert will He's be the hosting man. that, the voice of the St. Joe Mustangs. We love Dave. Uh, fans are welcome to come out. That'll be at Uncle D's. Uh, so a chance to come out. Great there, food. Get some great food. Great. Chew, uh, great whoa, what did I just say? <laughs> Jude. <laughs> great know. choices. Uh, but I know he's going to have a chicken fried chicken special. He does. I think every delicious. Thursday. Yeah. And we're going to be there every Thursday. But next week's going to be a fun one. We're going to have uh, Dixon Marble this Thursday. Yep. He's going to be there signing autographs. I'll be there. Dan Gerst. Dan Gerst and Kai Turner are the guests of honor for this time. Oh, well, right? yeah. In the future, uh, we'll have uh, manager Matt Johnson on there. Set the bar players. high is what we're doing. Dixon Set Marble might bar high for an interview, too, if you and Dan don't eat up all the time. We'll see how it goes. Yeah. Yeah. Well, you Should know, we got a lot time. to say. So. But uh, every fan that shows up to the show at Uncle D's on this Thursday, which is May 26th, get two 12 free. To one. 12 to 1. Yeah. Two free general admission tickets, good for any game, so be sure to come. Whoa, out how about that? Who, get those tickets. Did you just make that up on the spot? I didn't. Let's make a deal. What's behind door number two? A high five for Matt. Well, no one wants that, so we'll stick with the tickets, uh, right? Right. Man, you kind of took that kind of hard. But yeah. Our chemistry's off right now. It's Yeah, it's one of those days. Feels like a Tuesday. I think that's going to wrap things up. You're for the more show, of a though. yin, and I'm, I'm a, kind of the yang. I don't wear No, I was going to say Jan. I'm a yin, and you're more of a Jan. Jane's my mother-in-law. There Sweet it is. Sweet lady. How did I know? Sweet lady. Both married. Hey, speaking of uh, field shape, there it is. There it is. There what is? The field. They're taking it into shape. Jim, can we get a shot of our field crew? Can we? Nah, probably not. We don't want to. No? Don't Blake Hardigree, uh, coach, Austin Wolf. Yeah. Ooh. Field crew, gentlemen. And Austin uh, Northwest. Missouri State both baseball Northwest players. Alums. Yeah. Both Gotta of them are uh, good baseball players. Blake with the uh, flowing locks. I think, Matt, that would look good on you. Uh, even though more of a man bun, long beard, maybe like a pirate, uh, would look great. Well, I think we're getting kind of derailed, so we should probably wrap up. Uh, with this, green shorts. This episode of. Light green shorts. The Kai Turner Show. Well, it's not necessarily my show, it's our show. Kind of dominated, though. And well, that's okay. I've got a lot to say. I mean. I feel like Dane Gerson should come on sometime and. Where is Dan? I don't know. He's going to be here soon. He so here hold soon tight. Here in St. Joseph. Hold so. tight. Don't forget. Denise I'll, Cotter. I forgot Denise, Denise Cotter. Cotter. She's been here for every every uh, year, too. So I can't forget Denise. She does a wonderful job. When I was mentioning everybody. Right. Rally. Rally's ago. been here. Sorry. Whoopsie daisy, Rally. Don't come after me. Well, it looks like we have audience participation already. So <laughs> Jim, where is your Hold mic? it for Fan Fest, young man. <laughs> Gosh. Our first Mustangs Weekly Radio Show will be May I guess May if you want to come in and watch this show, you can. That'll be Do from we sell noon tickets? to one. Is this considered a Mustangs broadcast? Fan Fest will be May 31st. It's a few open from seats. From 5.30 to 7.30 at the mall. And then opening night here at Philwell Stadium on June 1st. So one could say it all starts a week from today. But they'd be wrong because Thursday is our first radio show. Thursday. And then every Thursday after that. 
So it and then is. everything else starts a week from today. This is our intern, Jake Admire. What's up, Jake? Uh, the truth. How's it going? It's hey, going. It's the truth. Hey, are you, how excited are you for opening day? Really excited for opening day. What else do you think of opening day? It's gonna be well, that's all the time we have today. <laughs> so uh, thank you and see you soon.